All right, so I just finished the video about uh, the things I dislike about being a parent. And I can't wait, okay? Right, we're going to talk. These are the things I love about being a parent, okay? What I was talking about in the previous video was a boredom when, when it's time for you to be one-on-one -on -one with your kids and the constant stream of attention and responsibility that is required to take care of them, okay? Those two things. Now, let's address the boredom first. Your kids will make you feel good in a way that nothing else does. Nothing at all. And it's the most pure, joyful feeling at the very core of your soul. You'll feel it everywhere, right, right here in the middle of the chest. It's like everything they do is perfect. And, and a completely priceless event is happening, unfolding in front of you. Every time you watch them do anything, you just feel great interacting with them. It's, I've, I've watched my son tie his shoes. They're Velcro. But tie his shoes. And it's, it's like the biggest pride feeling ever. Oh my gosh, he can put on his own shoes. He dresses himself. He's three years old. It's amazing. It's the, it's the most amazing thing. And watching her talk, she... She talks more than he did at that age. She's going to be two in May. And she talks so much. She understands everything. It's You feel this deep pride for every little accomplishment they have. Like stepping upstairs. You, you feel good. You're like, wow, look at them walk up them stairs. <laughs> Best kids ever. And <laughs> the, the play times with them are the best times. Dude, it's so good. You have the worst day at the office. Traffic was horrible getting home. You you broke your leg, you know, uh, walking up some stairs. So you're hobbling around. And you get home, and your little one gives you a hug. And you're like, you know what? I can walk for another few hours. Let's hang out. It's the best thing ever. And nothing else comes close to that. Nothing else. Um... There's there's nothing you can take that gives you that good feeling. There's no conversation you can have. There's no success with your romantic partner. It does. It's just a completely different realm of emotion and sensation and joy and feeling. Um, you just feel good around your kids. You feel good taking on that second thing I talked about in the previous video, that responsibility. You feel good providing for them. It feels good to cook every one of their meals. It feels good to feed them. It feels good to walk around with them and spend time and watch them notice things and ask questions and chase them when they start running. It's, it's even fun when you're trying to teach them to stay on the sidewalk and not go in the street. And they don't listen and they don't listen and they don't listen. And eventually they do listen and they figure it out and they're, they're very obedient when you stick to the point and that doubles back on the first part you just feel more proud of them you're like, that's amazing you just learned and and you actually they they learn over time that with that obedience to their parents they get more freedom so because they understand uh that listening to the rules lets them try new things lets them go out and explore new things so not running in the street means i can help dad cook dinner <laughs> and it may it might not make sense it might be a little fuzzy there but they trust us to take care of them and we trust them to listen when we're giving them encouragement and instructions on day-to-day -day things for instance my son would would walk up he'll grab knives off the counter and you get really good about you know kitchen uh kid proofing the kitchen as you go about things and you you just tell him hey these are dangerous we're only touching them with mama and papa around you can he'll help us cut things like you can help cut things as long as papa's helping you that kind of thing he doesn't touch knives anymore not that he won't ever or that he's afraid of it he's just obedient on the fact that this thing could be dangerous and they told me not to touch it, and I don't. However, 
he will help us prepare food. Because he's curious about what's going on, you just involve them in whatever task, in this case, cooking food. You get a little stool, he stands on the stool, and he pulls the leaves off the cilantro to prepare for taco night or whatever. And he loves it. He loves helping. That's another thing about kids that I had no idea before I had them. They just adore being involved. So not only do they require a lot of responsibility and time and effort, but they pay that back. They pay it forward in your family structure in life because they're trying to be involved. They, they want to help prepare dinner. They want to help unload the dishwasher. If you've never seen a one-year-old pull dishes out of a, a, a dish rack of any kind, oh my goodness, it's the cutest thing ever. And they're holding the little plate. They walk over to you and you grab the plate and put it away and you say thank you. And eventually they're saying things like, here you go. And oh my gosh, best way to come home. They give you a hug and you just do stuff together. It's the it's the best thing. It's the best thing. Every word they say is... I was going to use the word precious. It's like, oh, it's precious. Uh, no, I mean... Everything they say is fun to hear. If it's a question, you guys get to have a conversation. And you see the wheels turning in their head. They're like putting stuff together as you're providing answers. And then they come up with more questions. It's amazing. If... They're telling you a story. They're learning how to put a story together. That's really fun to see. Uh, you can see my son putting these big building blocks together. Like, here's what's happened. Here's what I'm trying to say. What are the right words for it? And you, you like see him piece it together to make a coherent story that he can then communicate to mom and I. It's the best thing ever. Uh... Let's see. <laughs> hmm. What I was describing in the last video, the boredom of, of being around them, doing those mundane things constantly, that is alleviated because of those feelings I'm describing. If you just stop for a second, like I always say, take your deep breath and realize that right now they are doing X, Y, Z or learning or showing you something and you just kind of melt into that feeling of enjoyment and pride and joy. It's just joy watching them do stuff. Maybe it's like you're seeing things through their eyes and everything is new. Maybe it's pride, like I said, and you're like, wow, hey, my kid is so awesome. Maybe. But it, it's just astounding to just spend time with them and... They, by default, are joyful. So maybe it's also an addictive thing. You know, or a, um, what do you call it? Um, not addictive, but um, contagious. Like a contagious thing. Um, yeah, so uh, another thing I really like about kids is that they are 100% in it. <laughs> they are, they only do things at 100%. Okay, I'm going to help. I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, let me do it. <laughs> Because I'm helping. 100% involved. Okay. If they say they're going to do it, let them do it. Because they, they want to get it done. Whatever the task is. When they feel an emotion, that's the emotion. Okay. If it's a negative emotion, they cry like someone came into their home and destroyed their whole family. And then burnt the house down. And then laughed at them while they realized what was happening. They cry like it's it's the end game, man. Like everything has collapsed. My whole life is in ruins <laughs> over the smallest thing. And, but it's also the opposite with joy where they, if they're happy about something, they're happy. They are ecstatic. They are thrilled to be alive. Because of the good thing that is happening. It's chocolate milk. Ah! <laughs> That's, how do you not enjoy that? How do you not enjoy being around that kind of energy? It's so good. It's so good. And I enjoy that they are always teaching you. 
They're always teaching you. In the previous video, being bored around them, what does that teach me? It teaches me that I'm an unsettled person. <laughs> it teaches me that I need to work on some stuff. Because with everything I've described in this video, and you're around all that energy and you're feeling bored, so that's up here. That's with me. So now I have to go inward. I'm doing introspection and growing as a person because my kids just exist and want me around. Amazing. Amazing. They're, they're always teaching you things, even when they're not literally teaching you something, which they start to do. They start to talk about what they're going through or how things, my son right now, how things are pronounced. Mom reads a book to him, and then I read the same book, say the next day, and I pronounce a word differently, and he says, no, Papa, it's pronounced like this. <laughs> Thank you, son. Thank you. Now I know. <laughs> uh, they teach you in so many ways. I'm a total homebody. I would just stay at home. I don't need to go out. I don't... Oh, we're going to the park. There's a lot of people here. Interesting. And so they want to play at the playground. And they want to play with other kids. And because our kids are playing, now the parents are friends, I guess. Uh, and so you're going to get into conversation with strangers a lot when you have kids. So now you have to learn social skills and how to be sociable when you're a total homebody like myself. Which is fine. Which is fine. But just another example of how kids... I'm going to teach you things. They're going to teach you how to grow in way more ways than you can possibly predict. <laughs> um, I love that they've taught me so much about how important family is. It's, it's so wholesome. Spending time, our little tribe of four making it over here in the Southwest. And I wouldn't trade anything for these moments that I have with them, with my wife, us four together. It's the best part of my life, is being a part of this family. And yeah, I wish I had better words. I wish I was more articulate to really paint a better picture for you for the things that I love about parenthood. But I can't. It's it's just good all over. And it that's the final thing that I love about parenthood. It draws the best out of me. When I'm tired, I'm beat down from the day, I have no motivation, I things were horrible today, but I go home and I'm able to give my 100%. They pull the best out of me. And I want to give them my best. That's the definition of, of growth, of making yourself better, of, of your environment making you better. And that's priceless. And it, I mean, saying that, it sounds very selfish. <laughs> Sounds like, yes, my children have helped me to grow. Well, of course they have. Of course they have. <laughs> but it's not like a, they will help me to become the greatest version. No, it's more of a gratitude. Like, thank you. Thank you for being in my life because you've helped me be a better person. And I hope I can do the same for you as I raise you. Yeah. So... Here's to parenting, all right? Parenthood, it's awesome. Talk to you later.